a disingenuous American reporter was put in our place for trying it with the ex-minister of Greek, Yanis. I've been very concerned lately about China. They're in Africa. They're, they're lending money to countries to build ports and different infrastructure. To, to build what? Port And harbors. what's wrong with that? And, well, because... Countries that need ports. <laughs> Get ports. But they're making people dependent on... I mean, I know, it's the same thing that we've done, which is no, it's horrible not. around the world. They are, they are far more humanistic than the United States ever was. <laughs> really? Okay. Absolutely. Great. So... Let me give, give you an okay. example. Of course they are trying, they are peddling for, in, for, for influence. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, but they are non-interventionist. Absolutely non-interventionist in a way that Europeans, the West, has never managed to fathom. The Chinese never asked Apple to go to Shenzhen and produce all the iPhones. It was um, Steve Jobs that decided that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. the, it was not China that um, went to Washington DC and demanded that they buy a third of your national debt. If they hadn't bought it, you would be in serious trouble. Mm -hmm. okay. When it comes to the influence of China outside its borders, it's quite remarkable that they don't seem to have any military ambitions. Instead of going into Africa with troops, colonially, destroying the country, killing people like the West has done for the last hundred years, what they did was they went to Addis Ababa and they said to the government, we can see you have problem, problems with your infrastructure. We would like to build some new airports, um, upgrade your railway system, create a telephone system and rebuild your roads. And we'll do this all, all for free. No strings attached. We don't want anything from you. And they did. Why did they do it? Because it's soft power. They are immensely self-serving, mm -hmm. as they would. But at the same time, they have a quality that we need in Southern Europe. Actually, I think everybody needs to have foreign, foreign direct investment by patient investors. They're patient investors. They don't come in to grab an asset uh, for speculative purposes. They come in in order to uh, create a base on which to build and build and build, and their horizon is 20, 30 year horizon. What Europe has not done with Greece is to do what the Chinese were prepared to do, to come there with their workers, with their engineers, and actually do some serious work. It's almost hilarious to see um, this mainstream media reporters act like America can do no wrong, the American government is this innocent um, entity that is trying to fix world problems and that is just the only good partner that other nations have and painting a narrative that it's the others that are doing the horrible things, the Russia's, the China's of this world, not America. So like they continue doing this even though their job is supposed to reveal the truth and tell the people what's really going on in the world and be a voice for good that's not how they use it they usually use it to manipulate and to mislead people and i'm glad um the former minister educated her right there in front of the whole world and now maybe she won't try to mislead people. And I'm glad he called out the fake concern that she has for Africa. And he also told her that China is more humanistic than us. By us, he means the West, the US, the EU. And um, it's just satisfying to see disingenuous people get corrected in front of the world. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one.